Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. I'm very happy to be here to talk about this subject that I've been deeply involved with for my almost four years here um, at Air Liquide Advanced Materials. Um, so some a little bit about Air Liquide Advanced Materials. Um, we produce specialty chemicals for the global semiconductor industry. Um, so um, it, when I start, I started in 2020, but prior to that, um, LIMS was starting to be built. Um, and this was done across uh, five U.S. locations and three APAC locations where um, each, each site had its own LIMS build, but same lab or LIMS for everyone. Um, and as you can see from this timeline, we sort of did both at the same time. We have LIMS and SAP staggering back and forth. Um, our first site went live with LIMS in November of 2021. And 2022 was a big year for us where we went live with both LIMS and SAP um, as integrated systems. Since then, we've added um, a few more sites to the LIMS and SAP world. And also um, we're just working on some system optimization, which includes the improvement of old processes that we might not have realized in the past were inefficient, but with SAP, those inefficiencies were brought to light. So um, that's one of the many reasons why SAP is a great tool. So prior to um, going into LIMS and SAP, we had some very, very manual processes. Um, we had a um, a module called plant floor, where that's where jobs are started by production. We use paper job sheets that were used by production and the lab. Um, results were written down on these job sheets and also recorded and manually recorded in an access database. Um, these results were then transmitted to Ross ERP, and there was a manual generation process for the COA. Today, things have gotten much better, much more efficient, where we have lab or limbs and we have SAP S for HANA. Um, CSOLS, our sponsor of this great event, um, helped us build our lab or limbs to our needs. Um, Labware is a, if you don't know, it's a system you can highly customize. I believe most other limb systems are the same too. And then with S for HANA, SAP S for HANA, we had Capgemini as our consultant for this build. And CSOLS, again, was working with us to perform the LIMS and SAP integration. So one of my questions for the audience is, are you using SAP as your ERP? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't think we have the poll running yet. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll just we'll keep that question in mind. Um, it still will be relevant later on, so we can ask it again. Okay. Um, so what do we use these systems for? We all know that SAP is great for inventory management and tracking warehouse statuses, status, but um, these are the parts of SAP we use, but we can also um, have these systems, LIMS and SAP, talking to each other back and forth all the time. Um, and that's what the beauty of the MAR is that we have this um, synchronization that happens every five minutes. So basically we can track all steps in a production process, like making a crude, a work in progress, a finished good. We can transfill materials. We can track our recipe steps. Um, we can capture this all in SAP via unique PAR code. And then all the QC testing is captured in LIMS. Um, for our limbs setup, we typically um, only have quality touching limbs. It's very rare that we have anyone else in our limbs. And um, as I'll, I'll get to this later, but our master data is also held in limbs, which gives it more security and less likely to have anyone going into the master data that maybe shouldn't who has admin access. Um, so how we did it, as I said, limbs is holding all of our master data. This is very basic flow, illustration of the flow, but um, basically we start with SAP ME, we go to Labra Limbs, and we end up in s for hana um, SAP starts and ends all transactions. Limbs might be in the middle, we might pass through it, but nonetheless, all of the transactions still pass through limbs at some point. And all of our COAs ultimately...